Hey guys, it's Doug here, here with uh, Chris, here with another Trigger King Tech video. It has been a long time since we've done these proper truck overviews and we are shooting a bunch of them today that we're going to roll out here. So this is Chris. He's been racing with us for a while. He also does some of the cam work, other things. And Chris, I guess you want to talk about your trucks here, what you've got. Yeah, RCs have really become a, uh, a very addictive hobby for me. And so... Uh, it's for everybody that right, races with us. Right? Uh, so I started out... Uh, essentially with a barbarian but it's grown from here and as you see there's no barbarian here my latest build for the most part is uh the new stock clod buster so uh, this is a clod then i guess mainly right yes this is a clod through and through underneath cool body here it's the classic barefoot old style this racer. is my first replica that i've ever made so you so, did the paint on it yeah oh, yeah. yeah nice um, that nice. so that was that was my first challenge because when you're creating your own identity you can kind of fudge the situation. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. why I always run original paint jobs. Yeah, I can't exactly. ever screw up my own paint jobs. I, I didn't think I could ever meet my my own expectations when making a reproduction. Yeah. Uh, and so I came pretty close on this one. I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. And that's a J Concepts, was it a 88, 88 Chevy? 88 Chevy. Yeah. It's a single cab. Yeah. Single cab. And <clears throat> yep, looks like a pretty much a stock clod for the most part. Yeah, for now at least. Uh, working on getting together a new ultralight that'll stretch the wheelbase and make sick it me. Sick yes, me chassis. Yeah. And make it fit the uh, the barefoot cool the, the barefoot chassis and stance a little bit better. Uh, so looking forward to that. But basically a stock uh, clod buster right this, here. This is an outlaw retro. It runs in our outlaw class that we've got. So all right, so going down the line here. We have Kaiju. I know we get questions about this truck. So this one has been a, a pretty popular truck. Um, I, I believe I was the first to use the uh, Bajar, uh, basically a body intended for a slash from J Concepts. Um, it's a Baja Bug, right? Yeah, Isn't it's a Baja Bug. Okay. And so I, I was trying to do something different as I got into the sport, and uh, I started looking and thought, well, that's never been used and. I think I can do something creative with this. And yeah, it looks it looks great. And I know we're both monster movie nerds. And I guess we'll get to the next truck. Right, too. right, right. Next truck just, it carries. Yes, but this one looks great. It's a great 3D body, and it looks like um, you would really see, you know, like a Monster Jam truck like this. And, something, and that's you know, something, something what I was good. going for, uh, just to, to try to push the boundaries mm -hmm. just a little bit. Otherwise, it's largely a stock SMT10 underneath. Um, and this is a sport mod truck, correct? Or is, yes, this okay. is a sport mod truck. Uh, I, I have a Hackmoto 17 turn. Which most of us now are running that in right. sport mod. The Hackmotos are a good 17 turn that runs fast. I've also got hardened transmission gears. Um, and the... We've got steering here, it looks like. Upgraded steering linkage. Uh, the steering started to bow a little bit yeah. on the plastic, yeah. and so I upgraded. Um, but otherwise, a fairly standard truck. Stock shocks too, right? Yeah. I actually yeah. really like the stock the shocks. The great shocks the, the, SMT, they are. the SMT 10 has pretty good stock shocks. At least that's what I find on some other guys. Well, adding the front sway bar made a nice difference. Yeah, you uh, have to. That's, you, you have to run. You really do. If you have an SMT 10, you've got to put a, a front sway bar on it. Well, great. I mean, so I guess keeping with the monster theme, let's roll down here. Yes. I actually have not seen this truck yet in person. This day's my first day seeing it. This is a new creation for the winter series. Uh, I just picked up this new ACRC uh, from a, a former Trigger King champion, Josh Rhodes. This is the former Excalibur truck. Uh, and so you'll recognize the wheels and, and the, uh, oh, yep. the bead cool. locks. Um, but a very successful truck. Um, yeah, Josh ran really well for a long man, time. Man, yeah. He, uh, he made big shoes to fill. That's for sure, uh, but dynamite piece—the nicest piece I've I've got in my in my garage so, so far. The motors on this here is running. It's a twin ESC and twin motor setup. What uh, what motors are in this guy here? Uh, those are the Turnigy Track Stars. Okay, yep. Um, and so this is my first foray into censored motors and trying to learn dual clod motors and. It's a fun learning curve. It, it's when you're dealing it's with twin system. Quite a beast. <laughs> uh -huh. um, the Claude is something completely different from the shafties that I've kind of oh, been yeah, used yeah. to. And it looks like, I guess, Renegade tires, these closed cell phones? Yeah, you know, It feels yeah. like these are the is crawler innovations? Yeah. Closed cells? Okay, yeah. a lot of guys are running crawler innovations with closed cell phones now in the Renegade tires. They've gotten uh, really popular. Yeah, um, yes, I know in our series they're super popular. I guess they help the truck sell. Um, 
Proline Power Strokes. Yep, correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of servo up here? Savix. What's it? Uh, uh, 127 T. Yes, but a nice a high torque Savix servo, basically. And I believe uh, these the Sutton Motorsports setup. I, I it, think so. I believe this is the Sutton, Sutton Motorsports. The lockout and. Um, the way the uh, steering everything set up on it and the top four link mount on it, so. Nice, and I guess the Indominus, this is the J-Concepts yes. racer. This is the new J-Concepts Raptor, Raptor racer, race, yes. racer body. That makes sense then. Right, The Indominus yeah. Raptor. Uh, so again, playing on our monster movie finish. Yes, we both um, love Jurassic Park. We're both big Jurassic Park fans. And so uh, I, I thought, Indominus, okay, we're talking about basically untamable and just <laughs> the king with Indominus. And then the, I saw the Raptor and I saw the, the newest Jurassic Park yeah. movie and I thought Indominus and the Raptor body. I mean, it's gonna be a play that only a few of us real nerd guys that love this stuff <laughs> yeah, are going to get, but uh, I, I like playing well, to a, a small audience sometimes. And, and, and so the that's just fun with the born. bodies. I, doing the themes, the specific, you know, the specific themes. The, the retros are the uh, replicas. I'm sorry, are cool, but I like seeing the original stuff too. I know a lot of our guys I, like doing it. I, I love putting my my ideas mm -hmm. onto Lexan like that. It, it's just it's cheaper than a full size truck too. Right, right. right. It, it's an artistic thing. Full size stuff. So, well, I guess that's everything then with Chris here. And uh, I mean, thanks for. Getting on camera. I yeah, know guys want to I, see it, I appreciate so. you yeah. inviting me out, and it's always been a great to be a, a part of Trigger King, and so uh, look forward to the rest of yeah. the series and moving into the summer. And we will be back with more Trigger King Tech videos shortly here. So thank you guys for watching.